Welcome back to another short UEFN tutorial. This time we will be talking about how to create a retro pixel look for your game. Let's dive right in. In UEFN, each final image that you see on screen is actually composed of several different buffers. You can view them individually by clicking on the view mode button at the top of your viewport. Now what UEFN allows us to do is use and manipulate those individual buffers at several different stages of the rendering process. This is most commonly used for color manipulation. The easiest way to manipulate those buffers is through a post-process volume which you can find in the Place Actors section, usually to the left of your screen. As it's not a UEFN device, it works slightly differently to what you're probably used to from your prior work with Fortnite Creative. By default, the Infinite Extent checkbox is not set which means that whatever you are setting in your post-process volume will only apply if the player is within the bounds of the volume. You can also use and create your own post-process material. Scroll down to Rendering Features and Post-Process Materials. Add a new entry to the array and choose Asset Reference. Here you can create the new material. Now the first thing we want to do is go over to our detail settings and change the material domain to post-process. Additionally, you want to set the blendable location to scene color after tone mapping. Going back to what we explained earlier in this tutorial, this is where we can control at what stage exactly the post-process material will be used. For this material, we want it to apply at the very end. To actually be able to modify our image, we need to add a scene texture node to our material. Here we can choose from a variety of scene texture IDs, which largely correspond to the buffer visualization from the beginning. Post process input 0 is the one that we want, as it gives us our full image, which we want to manipulate. So let's start with adding two parameters that will give us control over our effect later on. Append them and use a floor node to round the numbers down to the previous integer, so we don't get any undesired effects. Multiply this result by the viewport UVs of a screen position node. This node gives us the proper coordinate space of our screen to work with. We will also need to floor this result and then divide it through the result of the previous floor node. Connect this to the UVs input of your scene texture node and you're done. For usability reasons, it is recommended to create a material instance for your post process material, so you can control the effect through the sliders without the need to go through the material each time. And here you go! We hope you learned something cool today and we are looking forward to playing your games online. For more information and other cool gameplay ideas, check out our link in the description.